Hello everyone, this is me Explo. So last time we added Explo's image to the player sprite and we added a few animation. Now it feels like Explo is running and jumping and sliding. So today we're going to add the background art and some more other features. So stay tuned, roll the intro. Alright, so I've made a background art. It's a really long image so that we're running horizontally so it needs to be long sideways. Okay, there's some problem in the sorting layer. Somehow Explo is coming behind the background art. So it seems like an invisible Explo is running. So I've adjusted the sorting layers a bit and now Explo is on top of the background art. And now, as you can see, when we play, Explo is running through his hometown. It's lovely. It's uh, better than running in front of some random squares. It's the same place I show in my videos, but a bit extended. If you guys have some suggestions for adding the obstacles, you may just put in the comments below. And if it's really good, I'll be sure to add it. So, what's an object that Explo can slide? Hmm. Oh yes, a trash can. Yes, that's the best thing that could be on the middle of the road. Because the government said, keep your road clean, so there should be trash can everywhere. So now if I press play, trash cans are considered an obstacle. You should now jump over a trash can in order to win the game. Actually, there is no way to win this game, it's an endless runner, I forgot that. There is no victory, only failure. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing with my life? So the jumping obstacle has been created. Now we need an obstacle that Explo can slide. So what is an obstacle that can make you slide? In Subway Surface there is a signboard that makes you slide. In Temple Run there is a tree branch. What will we add? Hmm. Oh yes, a bird. A bird comes flying straight to your head and you have to slide it. Yes, a crow would be a good example. By the way, this is a very original idea. I haven't taken inspiration from anywhere. So as you can see, I am now making a crow. As an artist myself, I tend to create very original art style. Okay, you are not supposed to see that window. So I have drawn the body. Now I have to draw the wings. Let's see how this turns out. A few moments later. What the hell is this? Okay, so I made a few changes. Now the wings look really good. By the way, I did this all myself. I did not ask help from my mom. So now we have to create the second frame. The wings down frame. A normal artist would redraw the wings in a downward manner to make it more appealing but uh, we don't do that here we just uh, boom bada bam bang pow <coughs> wow this is art this is awesome perfect okay so now i added the crow to unity and now we're going to create an animation for the crow by using these two frames we can loop it and make it look like the bird is actually flying so we created the animation, now let me play. Oof, calm down, calm down, chill crow. Because a 5 is the best number and it looks better now. I'm going to make the moving script of this crow inside the level manager itself because I don't want to create a script for a crow. So now if we press play, ooh, look at that crow go. I'm so proud. It's like I'm the mother of that crow. Wait, what? So now I'm going to duplicate the crow like we did with all the obstacles. Oh wait, for doing that, the level manager script is not enough. I have to create a separate script for the crow. Bruh, crow script. So I've added the obstacle tag for the crow so that whenever the player hits the crow, it's a game over. Okay, so the obstacles are finally done. There is an obstacle that you want to jump and there is an obstacle that you want to slide. So there are many things I want to add next, but I actually want to add mom next. Mom was my least priority because I wanted to add it in the end but you guys kept commenting about where is mom, where is Explos mom. Since you all sim for Explos mom this much, I'm gonna add her next. So I created a 21 frame animation for mom but it's different from Explo because she's holding a baseball bat and uh, that, yeah that makes a difference. So there you go, there is now Explos mom in the scene and now we have to add an animation for her, she needs to keep running. So we're going to add those 21 frames just like we did for Explo. Okay, she's too fast right now. I'm going to decrease the speed. What was the speed for Explo? Okay, 25. 25. I'm going to keep the same speed for uh, mom. And now if I press play, Explo leaves his mom behind. Why? Because we didn't give her a script. We didn't told her to move forward. She's just playing the animation then and there. We're going to make mom move. You know the drill. Transform dot translate. That's how we move an object. We're gonna give her the same speed as Explo so she can keep the same distance from Explo every time. So yeah, now mom is working perfectly. Now what do we add next? Oh yes, this is an endless runner game. 
so it needs to be endless right the level needs to load right now when we run to the end of the map he falls down that should not happen there should be another level it should keep going and going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a trigger at the end of this map so this trigger uh, confirms that the player has almost reached the end of the map so the map needs to recreate itself so that the game keeps going and going the show must go on we are going to create a ground script now i feel like we made a lot of script in this video okay so we're going to do some maths here i need to calculate the x position of where the duplicated object should be how much uh, of a plus distance of the current object it should spawn so we're going to calculate it uh, 262.971 minus 82.8336 Damn. I wonder how long calculations the uh, developers of AAA games need to make. So the code we use to spawn an object over a certain point is called instantiate. It's a part of the C# -sharp code. Oh wait, so many errors are coming. Okay guys, never mind. That was a wrong code. Uh, I should check for code somewhere else. Okay, so I've got an easier script and now it's spawning and I did some minor adjustment because for some reason uh, multiple levels were generating uh, in the same place again so that should not happen only one should generate at his place okay, this was taking too long so uh, what I did is I, I temporarily turned off the obstacles so that I can test the game easily for some reason when explore comes to the second map uh, he's in his on air animation the player is detecting as it's not in the ground he's on air and he's doing that jumping animation I don't know why is that happening I need to check into it Two hours later. Come on, why is this not working? Six and a half hours later. Okay, so now I made a few changes, but the problem is he's not able to jump now. When he jumps, he's still in the running animation. I need to fix it fast. One eternity later. Guys, don't do programming. You will eventually hate your life. So I made a lot of alterations in the code and now it's working somehow. And the code is really different right now. I don't know what to do. By the way, in the final game, I'm planning to add five maps like this. Uh, each of them will be from Explos videos, uh, different background arts and they will be spawned randomly so that it doesn't feel repetitive. Another thing I want to do is to destroy a map once you cross it because when the map keeps generating like this the system is working too much. Like imagine you crossed uh, the map 10 times and there is 10 maps li just lying there in the scene which will create more workload for the system itself. So we're going to destroy it once we cross it so that it's easier for the system to handle everything. So you can see Explore is now inside the trigger and he reached the second map and now he is going outside the trigger he is going to reach Oh the, the, the previous map that just disappeared it got destroyed because we don't want the system to handle much of the maps uh, I already told you all this So now that is fixed and we can now perfectly play the game Oh wait what happened? Sorry, I forgot to add the gravity again. So I know this feels repetitive seeing the same map again and again. But don't worry, we'll j we'll make a new map soon. As I said, I want it to have like 5 or 4 maps. But there's another thing that I want to change that is the speed of the player that should increase while playing the game. If you have noticed in Endless Runners, the speed of the player keeps increasing as you play, as you move on in the game. And we are going to use time.deltaTime again because everything that deals with time should happen with time to delta time not everything but most of the things so we're going to use it here to increase it the speed uh, little by little every second and that little by little value would be ink per second variable that I gave here. It will be multiplied with uh, time dot delta time to increase the speed. So yes, now Explos speed is really increasing. It keeps increasing as you play, as you move on in the game. So yeah, it now really feels like an endless runner. If you just focus on the main aspects instead of the map and art of all the stuff. But wait, there's one more thing that is very essential in an endless runner, the score system. There should be a UI at the top of the screen that shows us how much distance you have covered or what's the score you have. You've seen this in every endless runner. Okay, so I've made the score system and it works on the level manager script I've made because I didn't want to create another score script. Alright, the score system is working perfectly and the game is running, the main aspects are ready. It feels like really like an endless game right now. You can actually play it maybe. 
uh i don't know if i can release it now maybe i'll release it later maybe after we actually completely perfect the system we i'll release it once day so that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed uh we've made a lot of changes in the game right now it doesn't actually feel like how we started we've come a long way uh, in just three videos so hope you guys like it this video took a lot of time to make man there was a lot of complicated codes i was even going to leave it halfway so please like the video for all the hard work i did bro oh my god i need some sleep goodbye